Now I'd like to talk to you about uh, is America Babylon in Jeremiah 49 through 51. No, I don't believe America is Babylon. Uh, I do believe that um, Babylon has, as it says in the Bible, has uh, the daughters of Babylon. Those are different um, daughters of this uh, religious uh, heresy, which is the Vatican. I believe the Vatican, uh, the Catholic Church, which used to be the Roman Catholics, which used to be the Romans who put, who Pontius Pilate put Jesus Christ on the cross. Uh, yes, the Jews are the ones who made the decision uh, to choose Jesus instead of, uh, I believe it was Barabbas, the murderer. So they let Barabbas go and put Jesus on the cross because they thought he was a false prophet and uh, blasphemy to, to God. So they never accepted Jesus Christ. And no, I don't believe after studying um, Revelation 14 through 18, speaking of Babylon, about seven or eight times, Mystery Babylon, and I believe that the word Mystery Babylon used in Revelation 17.5 is definitely stating for the fact modern Babylon, because obviously uh, 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 modern Babylon is certainly not the same as 4,000 years ago when uh, it started all at the Tower of Babel. So I believe that Babylon represents the four one world um, dominations and this will be the coming fifth one world domination the final uh, and I believe that um, of course also another thing to note that the uh, biblical number numerology for number five stands for grace isn't that wonderful yes the grace of God's going to save his people during this time and purify the earth when it's all done in the time of Jacob's trouble but Back to the fact that the mystery Babylon um, is modern day Babylon. It's a mystery because they're cloaked under the name of Catholic uh, Christians and have de taken, stolen the name Christians from the true Christians in the Bible. And so I'm going to qu quickly pull out my King James Pure Bible search, my uh, sword weapon here. Three times the word Christian over here occurs in the Bible, Acts 11:26. And when he had found him, he brought him onto Antioch, where the first church started. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. 1 Peter 4, 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. So, Christian is the true name and uh, for Christ followers. But the Roman Catholics stole that name from the Christians and deemed the Christians as Protestants. So, this is the reason why I believe that Mystery Babylon <clears throat> is called mystery in Revelation 17 5 as it says and upon her forehead was a name written mystery Babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth see so this is talking about the whole time of creation from the start abominations of the earth ever since the start Babylon the great and remember, I've told you this before, there's 13 capital wor words here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And your new King James Bible has been perverted to 15. That's why it's a perversion. 13 stands is the biblical numerology for rebellion. Uh, of course, they have rebelled against God. So, uh, there's many other reasons why the Catholic Church is noted as uh, because their ID right here for one, gold and precious stones, purple and scarlet color in Revelation 17, 4. Second is, sixth verse, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Speaking of Old Testament and New Testament. Remember, this is Babylon, not just the Vatican. 
And yes, 60 million Christians have died uh, since Jesus has died in the last 2,000 years. The papacy, the Catholic Vatican and Catholic Church has killed about 60 million of them, not including Islam, which they created themselves. Um, so, and again, we have another idea in second verse. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Okay. So that's talking about the whole earth. And Revelation 17, 11, The whore that sitteth on the beast says that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is the seven, and goeth into perdition. This is the Antichrist. This is Satan manifested in the Antichrist. So, that's why I believe the, uh, the Antichrist is, comes out of the Pope, who is the false prophet. He gives his reign over the earth to the Antichrist in the time of the, uh, Jacob's trouble. Why? Because the false prophet and the Antichrist have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Why do they run the whole world? Verse 18, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. This is not a nation, it is only a city. It is Rome, the city of seven hills, and it reigns over all the kings of the earth. How many times do you have to see another leader kissing the hands of the Pope? Probably the most damning uh, evidence is verse 9. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. So you see that the seven hills of Rome, clearly if you just take a look at Google Earth, is obvious. She is the se Those are the seven mountains it is speaking of. Showing the perfect ID uh, of Babylon modern day Babylon or mystery Babylon. So is Babylon America? No. As we continue into now the end begins, have you ever wondered why America is not listed among the nations in Bible prophecy? May 8th, five days ago. Is America is on the verge of being judged and destroyed by God Almighty that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as the day of Christ is at hand let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except their falling come of falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition what did I just tell you in Revelation 17 he goes into perdition the son of perdition is the Antichrist okay so um, as we move on here as Bible believers, we know and understand that the rapture of the church will occur before the time of Jacob's trouble, the great tribulation of Matthew 24 and Luke 21. But that does not mean that we get off the hook scot-free. Paul says that a great falling away from the faith will happen before the rapture. And he also says that we will see the Antichrist revealed before the rapture. Thus, we present this to you for your prayerful consideration. We are not trying to alarm you so much as we want to wake you up and to get you prepared for the coming days of prophecy that lay ahead. J.D. Farag is a very good man of God here. I listened to him. Is the pastor of Calvary Chapel in Kanoe in, I don't know how to pronounce that, in Hawaii. Every week he records for YouTube a Mideast prophecy update as a part of his sermon. Because he was born and raised in Lebanon, he's well qualified to give a unique perspective and insight into that region with regard to these end of days and what the Bible predicts will happen. In his update on 426.15, he stated that one of the most frequent questions he gets from YouTube viewers is this, does America fit into the prophetic equation? He stated, I don't believe it does. Absence, repentance, and revival, America is a done deal. 
He went on to say that America is on the verge of being judged and destroyed by God. And even if this country is the Babylon spoken of in Revelation, then we're probably even closer to the end by virtue of the prophecy regarding Babylon's sudden destruction. I'm sad to say I concur with this, his assessment, especially when adding all the available data and I and many others have been gathering. So, again, I disagree. Babylon is a city. In, Mystery Babylon is a city in the last days. Old Babylon wasn't. It is now a city. Okay, that's where it's head out and it runs the nations of the world. Is Babylon within America? Yes, it's within. In fact, it's very powerful in America. And it's yes, it's going to be. America is going to be judged for the sins of these people. But I uh, believe that, yes, I believe it's possible that the Antichrist is revealed before the time of Jacob's trouble. And it's a good warning for the body of Christ, for those who are not right with Christ, to get right real quick. In part one of this article, I told you about the upcoming military exercise, Jade Helm 15, to be conducted in this country from July 15 through September 15, three months. Many people, including active duty and veterans all across the armed services, are nervous about what this might bring. Is this the precursor to martial law being instituted in America? Are they going to try to start confiscating our guns and dragging us off to FEMA camps? I can't tell you for certain that these things will happen as a result of Jade Helm. However, gun confiscation and the roundup of political dissidents will most assuredly occur in the not too distant future. Balderdash, you say. Our government will never do something like that. Besides, the military would never turn on their fellow citizens. Really? Well, guess what? This has already happened. After Hurricane Katrina, the National Guard went door to door in New Orleans. After they had already suffered a hurricane, uh, lost their homes, flooded out, looking for food, can't even go anywhere because the streets are flooded. They bust in yelling, National Guard, does anyone need assistance as they broke in? They made illegal entry at gunpoint into the private homes of American citizens in direct violation of the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution and confiscated any guns they could find. Interesting. Confiscating guns when they need help. One guardsman recounted only a couple of people resisted verbally and they were quickly thrown down, cuffed, and thrown in the back of police cars. That's the way to help your citizens. Don't, so don't tell me it will never happen. It already did. But you say they'll never declare martial law all over the country. Is that so? Remember the Boston Marathon bombing? Were you not paying attention as hundreds of National Guardsmen, state, and local police locked the city of Boston down, ordering residents to shelter in place? MSNBC host caught lying about Boston martial law. I'll leave the link in here for you to watch. I remember watching on the news as these paramilitary officers, all outfitted in their G.I. Joe soldier gear, riding in their armored vehicles with gun turrets mounted on the top, stormed in groups onto the front porches of private citizens pounding on the door, ordering the residents to open up. Go on YouTube and view cell phone footage of innocent homeowners being ordered out of their houses at gunpoint, hands raised above their heads, some barefoot and in bathrobes, to be pawed and searched on the sidewalk as other officers tramp through their homes, again confiscating any weapons they happen to find. Do you think they ever turned them back in? No. Why? Because that's their whole objective, is to confiscate gums, guns illegally. And they're going to continue to do it. Every time there is a little thing going on, they're going to use another mayor or what have you to bring in martial law and do the same thing just as it's happened in, uh, what is it, Baltimore uh, and in uh, Ferguson. It's going to happen again and again and again. It's just going to get wider and wider spread. Uh, this new world, new age thing has been going on for a long time and it's a slow build up. It's always slow. Did Hitler take over Germany and uh, brainwash the Germans into believing that we need to kill Jews slow, quickly? No. He did it over a five year period. I do believe Jade Helm is being held for the purpose 
of prepositioning men and equipment for when the powers that be do declare martial law. It probably won't be instituted this summer, but they'll have everything in place for the right time and the Walmarts will be their staging area. I 100% agree with this wise statement here. I don't agree with uh, America being Babylon though, because it's not a city. I mean, it's not, an, it's not a nation. But something dreadful is in the works and coming to America soon. I told you I would give you my opinion as to what's coming, so I'll spend the rest of this article explaining what I suspect and why. The Lord just shook the world hub of Hinduism in Nepal. That was just the beginning. And I 100% agree with that. Uh, you know, the Hinduism going on in Nepal, worshipping dead idols and, and false gods. Uh, basically worshiping, worship, worshiping Satan through them uh, is what caused their judgment. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh from Hebrews 12, 25 through 29. For if they escape not who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word, yet once more, signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. Surely by now you're awake enough to fully understand we're living in the very end of days before the Lord Jesus Christ snatches his bride off this earth and the Father pours out his wrath on the wicked. Genesis 18.25 says, That be far from thee to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked, that be far from thee. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? So, this verse proves to you that God will never, and never has, but never will, judge the righteous with the wicked. If you think that God's wrath is here already, you've got another thing coming. It doesn't happen until the time of Jacob's trouble, where he pours out his wrath. That's why we call the church age of grace of God, because he's having grace with us during this time. We are saved by faith. But at the time of Jacob's trouble, the law is coming back. The Lord doesn't usually like to come in the front door. He loves to receive glory and acclaim for his amazing works. No, the front door is for losers. He likes to come through the window, down the chimney, or up through the basement. He loves to do the unexpected to show off his might and strength. Therefore, I'm positive events will not play out exactly the way Pastor Brown or Sunday school teacher Sue taught. Time to step into the rabbit hole. Okay, I'm going to cut from that uh, story and move on to the next one. Now the end begins. Date May 7, 2015. Census data confirms Obama is flooding America with over 100,000 Muslim immigrants er, yearly. Excuse me. The Muslim immigration warnings offered by Dutch politician Gert Wilders, who was in the facility in Garland, Texas, that was attacked by terrorists last week and seemed to be coming true. Wilders, who has asked his own parliament to hold an exhibition on the Muhammad cartoons from Garland, Texas event, has warned frequently that high levels of Muslim immigration without assimilation to the Western world, Europe, and the United States of America are dangerous to the culture and the values of the West. A featured speaker at the Garland event, Wilders, has been on a terror hit list since 2010 for proposing to place a tax on the hijab worn by Muslim women in the Netherlands. He has also been a vocal about stopping all Muslim immigration into the Netherlands. Now, why do you think he has, uh, uh, he's known on the terror hit list since 2010? Because the New Age, New World, Beast System is supporting the Muslims they're going to be part of their threat to cause a major war between uh, Christians and non-Christians and the rest of the world. And who's going who's gonna to save them all? You got it. 
the Antichrist. That this is the whole setup. And then there will be three and a half years of God's wrath while there is somewhat some sort of peace going on in the world as Satan is running it. Then at the end, or the middle, there will be the abomination of desolation and all hell will really, really break loose. But uh, never mistake that the wrath of God is poured out at the start of the time of Jacob's trouble or the Daniel's 70th week. And body of Christ is not appointed to the wrath of God. Take a walk and down the street and see where this is going. Wilders, referring to growing Muslim immigration into this country, previously said, you no longer feel like you are living in your own country. There's a battle going on and we have to defend ourselves. Before you know it, there will be more mosques than churches. Look at this. What a disgusting picture. You know, it, it amazes me the just the look of the way they are told to pray. They have to put their face into the ground. Now, why does this amaze me? I'm going to tell you two big reasons why. Um, in Job, it speaks. Job 1.6 Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. Uh, some will interpret the sons of God as uh, uh, righteous. I, I believe they're fallen angels from Genesis 6. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Now, you have to wonder why these people have their face down into the earth praying because Satan is inside the earth. That's right. Now, does there need to be a hollow earth for Satan? Well, if Satan and his minions who are celestial beings, as it says in 1 Corinthians um, 15, if they are celestial beings and there's terrestrial, I'm sorry, yeah, and terrestrial beings, uh, which are us, mortals, then if, if there's celestial beings like Satan, then we know that they don't need space to possess people because many people are casted the de devils out of people so is there's no space in their body not physical space is there so we don't need to have a hollow earth for satan to be inside of earth do we and his minions so here they are praying to satan inside of earth and that make perfect sense sure does Notice that the highest thing sticking up is their rear end. Well, I'm not going to comment on that, but um, I think you get the point here. Will Wilder's warning rings true not just in the Netherlands, but in the United States as well? Immigrants from the Middle East are currently the fastest growing immigration demographic coming into the U.S. A recent report from the Center for Immigration Studies shows America in just three years imported more immigrants from the Middle East than from Mexico and Central America combined. And that three years, uh, stop right there. We can thank Mr. Obama 100% for that. Well, he's the one in charge. But... Uh, definitely, uh, there are many behind him, including the Pope, uh, who is the ruler of the world, as I said earlier, of Mystery of Babylon, who is basically running this show. In that three years, there has been a 13% growth in the number of immigrants from Middle Eastern countries. And according to the Conservative Review, the immigration immigrant population from the Middle East will double in 15 years and triple by 2050. No, it won't, because the raptures happen way before that. It's about ready to happen any day. Uh, very imminent now. In fact, the United Nations is currently planning to settle roughly one million refugees, mostly Muslims in Western countries, Fox News reports. Uh, not the fact, uh, and on the side note here about Muslims, they love to have as many kids as possible. Women are not important except for propagation. They don't really, all they care about is the boys. So the boys are taught to be killing machines, beheading machines. And, uh, and then of course they use their children as uh, bombing sites, uh, attach bombs to them and 
teach them that they're going to go to heaven and have 72 virgins for 25 people in their family. Such amazing craziness. Uh, so here we have, uh, and then the fact that uh, uh, there's a law giving Muslims in this country, uh, starts with a D, uh, I forgot the name of it, uh, give them tax breaks, okay? Plus the fact that Obama's just literally paying for all these immigrants to come into the country while we go broke and he takes away our jobs. Talk about destroying America. Next story. Uh, the next story came from May 7th. Anjum Chuderi, little devil here, demands the devil of Jewish pig Pamela Geller on Fox News. Islamic Imam Anjum Chudari told Pamela Geller tonight that she should be slaughtered for her Texas cartoon contest. I'll leave the link in here for you up here and you can watch this. Uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is disgusting. Uh, you know, right in front of, uh, I forgot his name, the reporter here. Uh, but it's a very upsetting thing and, and he ends up getting cut off at the end so she can finish talking because Anjum has no respect, obviously, taught from a kid to respect any women. Um, so, uh, that's a brief thing. And then we have this. Americans should prepare themselves for the coming Obama-sponsored ISIS homeland terror attacks. This is a sober end times warning to all Americans. Now is the time to be prepared. May 6th is the day here. But this is your hour in the power of darkness. Luke 22:53. America, you twice elected a Muslim racist Marxist who hates this country. Everything is now in place and you are about to pay the price for your love affair with the dark side. And no, we are not talking about skin color. We are talking about spiritual darkness that Obama has wrapped around this nation and the coming mind-numbing terror attacks that have already started here at home. America, you are about to know what it is like to live in a third world country in the Middle East. This is Obama's America and you should be afraid, very afraid, as he laughs and presents the Holy Quran. Right from the get-go, Barack Hussein Obama told us in no uncertain terms that he was on the side of the Muslims and that America would soon become Sharia compliant. During the 2008 campaign, like Hitler writing in Mein Kampf, he told us that radical transformation was coming if you elected him. We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America, October 30th, 2008. America since 1776 has never needed transformation. All we have ever needed was good men and women to, who would stick to the original ideals, ideals and principles set forth by our founding fathers. Transformation is what you have when something changes. And this is what Obama delivered. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, about this founding fathers and all the Freemason presidents we've had in the past, I believe that they went compliant with allowing uh, Christians to um, continue uh, in this nation and to provide for us hun over hundreds of years, over a hundred years of freedom and build up this nation, uh, uh, letting the Christians flourish. And we, we uh, did financially great. Because of that, God did bless this nation. But we can't understand the things of God always. We're not expected to. Many people want to ask, why? Why? Why did God do this? We need to learn as Christians to trust Him through all things, no matter what, thick and thin. No matter what um, terror, tragic uh, ism, disease, or uh, death comes in your family. You have to trust him no matter what that he is a righteous God and that all things work together for, for the good that those who love him America um, For the past six years Barack, Barack Hussein Obama was worked tirelessly both behind the scenes and openly to allow hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants into this country as well as importing tens of thousands of Syrian refugees from the Middle East and implanting them all through the Midwest. The Bible Belt, 
Our heartland is now filled with foreign-born Muslims, almost none of which have been properly processed or accounted for. Mixed in among these refugees are hundreds of hardcore ISIS war fighters from the Middle East who have been busy creating terrorist souls, cells on our soil. This has all been done for one reason, and for one reason only to launch Islamic terror attacks on Americans in America. This past weekend, ISIS terrorists openly launched gunfire attacks on the Muhammad Cartoon Contest in Garland, Texas, hosted by Pamela, Pamela Geller. ISIS officially took responsibility for the attacks. Headline from the New York Daily News just today states that ISIS threatens controversial blogger Pamela Geller in message boasting of 71 trained soldiers in 15 different states. Are you getting the picture yet? Well, obviously, 71 trained soldiers in 15 different states isn't going to amount to hardly nothing. But the point of it is, it's growing fast. And I don't really believe there's 71. I believe there's many hundreds or thousands. Or tens of thousands. The ISIS attacks, which have already begun, will gradually increase in number until watching beheadings on the streets of every major American city will become as commonplace as checking the weather report. Why do you think that Obama has made it so hard to purchase new firearms and ammunition? He wants a f as few people as possible to be able to defend themselves on the streets. There is no new restrictive legislation on firearms and yet never has the ability to buy reasonably priced ammunition and firearms in quantity been more curtailed in loudly threatening to enact more gun control after each publicized tragic shooting the Obama administration has created a climate of fear which has prompted hoarding shortages panic buying and paranoia which has have accomplished what the federal government could not how do you think that the so-called Arab Spring came about Obama was a major player in this and his puppet master George Soros supplied the money. The plan was to destabilize the Middle East and rid the Ara Arabic, Arabic countries of their secular governments and replace them with the Muslim Brotherhood. That was the plan. Did you know that there are two major lawsuits pending in Egypt right now charging both Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton with conspiracy against Egypt in concert with the Muslim Brotherhood? In one press conference after another when referring to the Muslim soup terror supergroup ISIS, United States President Barack Obama will use the term ISIL instead of their former name ISIS or a current name Islamic State. Have you ever wondered about that? We have. When Barack Obama refers over and over to the Islamic State as ISIL, he is sending a message to Muslims all over the Middle East that he personally does not recognize Israel as a sovereign nation but as a territory belonging to the Islamic State. And ISIL, uh, I forgot the meaning of that, but it basically means surrounding Israel and taking back uh, what they think is their land. Honestly, America, how much more proof do you need? Well, we don't. Um, I don't really believe that our voting was actually, uh, we actually voted in Barack Obama. I believe for many years we've had voter fraud uh, in this country to bring in Freemasons uh, and to uh, uh, you know move forward with their new age new world new age uh, Christian thinking uh, and teaching and new world order but we have to remember we have a sovereign God who um, is in control and allows certain things Okay, so, so in my closing comments, do I think that America is going to be destroyed before uh, and taken over by uh, military? And uh, uh, yes, I believe that this very well could happen before the rapture. Uh, to what extent? I don't think it'd be really long. Uh, and I don't, I def, like I said, I definitely don't, I know that uh, America is not Babylon. It's not Mystery Babylon. Uh, J.D. Farag is right, except for when he said, if it possibly, well, it's not. 
because it's not because it's a city on seven hills and it's not a nation who heads it up. Uh, it's but America will be judged, like I said, for all the sin that's going on here and creating. And it ha is our president uh, with his what do you call it uh, Arab Spring that he started about six seven years ago. Uh, and changing all these nations in the Middle East to bring in Muslim Brotherhood and, and uh, killing hundreds and thousands of people, and uh, which is just barely starting to go against Israel and turning his back on Israel. Will we be judged for that? Of course we will. But uh, uh, America will be judged. But let's remember, remember one thing. God never judges the righteous with the wicked. So you have to remember, it is not going to happen. God will not judge America when the wicked are here. He has never judged a nation uh, in the last 2,000 years. Will he uh, pour out his wrath? No, he can't. There is no wrath until the time of Jacob's trouble. So, but uh, is a nation blessed when Christianity evolves and grows and spreads throughout many years, worlds, or excuse me, nations? Yes, we're living proof of that. And uh, so, um, I don't believe uh, we're going to be, it's impossible that we're judged with, the bride of Christ is judged with the wicked. It's just impossible. Okay, does he let these things happen? Yes, our nation is falling apart uh, because of uh, these uh, gl global elites and, and our president. So uh, he's letting things happen for a reason, but his real wrath and judgment is definitely not here. And uh, it's just impossible. So um, look up, brother, brothers and sisters, because you're redemption draweth nigh and remember to pray that you can escape all these things as it says in Luke 21 36 our time is very short here we're going home soon brothers and sisters God bless you and have a great day